Welcome to Fun with Drilling Engineering. Today we want to look at how a geothermal power plant works. Every geothermal power plant requires at least one production well, which brings hot water from the air to the surface. The power plant at the surface uses the heat of the water, for example, to heat buildings, in the best case even to generate electricity. Then the cooled water is reinjected back into the ground through the so-called reinjection well. The heat of the hot water from the production well is usually not used directly. Instead, the hot water passes through a heat exchanger where its heat is transferred to another fluid. This, for example, could be ammonia. Ammonia has a very low boiling point, and in this heat exchanger, ammonia begins to boil violently, producing a lot of ammonia steam, which flows out of the heat exchanger at a very high pressure. And this steam is now used to drive a turbine. This is similar to this experiment I have behind me here. Driven by the steam, the turbine spins at a very high rotational speed. There is an alternator connected to the turbine. It works just like a bicycle dynamo and produces electrical power, which can then be redistributed and sold to clients. The ammonia loses a significant part of its pressure in the turbine, but it is still in the gaseous phase. Therefore, we need to cool the vapor down, for example, in a cooling tower, where water is evaporated until the ammonia is changed back to its fluid phase. A pump is used to bring the ammonia back to high pressure level so that it can start the next cycle beginning in the heat exchanger again. So these are the most important parts we find in a geothermal power plant. If we want to produce a lot of electric energy, we need to produce a lot of water from the ground. And this huge flow rate needs to be rejected back into the ground after being used by the power plant. You will easily agree that such large amounts of water will not come out of the earth by itself and will also not disappear into the ground without technical installations. This is why we have large and powerful pumps in the production and reinjection well. They are getting the required electrical power for the operation from the power plant itself. I think we have now explained the most important components of a geothermal power plant. In the background, we can see how such a geothermal power plant looks like. It's a very compact unit. If at all, it emits only water vapor. And that means we don't have any harmful exhaust or something. This makes geothermal power plants so very environmentally friendly. A real geothermal power plant is of course a little bit more complicated and complex. So if you want to know exactly how all this works, come to our lecture on geothermal power generation here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Look off.